So what are some low-cost co-marketing campaigns you can do that won't break the bank on your marketing budget? Well, in today's co-marketing coffee break, I'm going to show you a dozen different ways you can co-market two businesses. Okay, so one of the major advantages of forming co-marketing partnerships is that it's not necessary to spend vast sums of money on marketing and advertising to get the word out about your business. Of course, you can still use promotional activities such as pay-per-click advertising, social media advertising, inbound marketing, etc., etc., but they're not necessary if you have a steady flow of new leads being generated by your co-marketing partners. So let's talk about some low-cost ways you can promote both of your businesses. Well, the simplest and least expensive way of launching and promoting anything is to issue press releases. And in many cases, short summaries of longer press releases are often published by local newspapers at no cost. The business sections in many local newspapers are always hungry for new stories that all you have to do is send in your press release and there's a good chance that a short summary of it will get printed for no cost. Alternatively, paid services such as ereleases.com or PRweb or prnewswire.com, these can also distribute your co-marketing press release to thousands of readers for a small fee. And lastly, an email blast of your press release to your list and to your partner's list, that's also a good free method of co-marketing your product or service. So don't overlook press releases. They're simple, easy, and a good way to promote the fact that you guys are working together and have special offerings that might be appropriate for your customers, clients, or patients. Now, another easy, effective, and low-cost method of promoting your business through co-marketing partners is to provide your partner's office or their store or other physical location with marketing collateral they can use to present your product or service to any of their customers who would have an interest in what your business offers. So, for example, point-of-use promotions can be as simple as providing your partner with business cards and a desktop display for them or as elaborate as providing framed posters your partner can use to promote your business. Um, as another example, a simple desktop trifold pamphlet with a display stand can do wonders to generate interest in your offering by making it visible to your partner's customers while they wait for any type of appointment or some kind of service. So take, for example, they're waiting for a haircut, you're waiting in a, an attorney's office or a doctor's office, or you're waiting for an oil change at a service um, department of an auto dealer. Anywhere people are waiting, it's a good idea to have a simple desktop trifold pamphlet available for them to pick up to learn more about your business. And vice versa, you would do the same for your partner's business uh, in any physical location you would have. Now, beyond press releases and point-of-use promotions, other low-cost ways of promoting your partnership could include printing joint promotional messages on the bottom of your sales receipts, uh, mentioning your partners in your social media postings on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, uh, dropping each other's flyers in shopping bags or newspaper boxes or leaving them on parked vehicle windshields. You can write articles or guest blog posts that can be shared on each other's websites or adding your partner's business name, logo, and contact information to your website and on all your email correspondence. You could also offer a reduced price, a special service, or customer reward if customers buy products from you and or your partner. You can place signs, posters, or stickers promoting each other on the walls or windows of your vehicles or your office. You can hand out your partner's business cards to any interested customers who express some interest in what your partner has to offer. You can mention each other's business when speaking at local events or when you're interviewed by the media. Um, pooling mailing list and sending out a joint promotional email or postcard. Just having the database of your customer's contact information, whether you choose to use physical mail or do an email, that's an asset that you can leverage from both businesses, and it's very low cost. And lastly, sharing inexpensive co-marketing ads in local shopping circulars or in a nonprofit event program like a theater or maybe someone's hosting a 5K run, just getting mentioned and putting an ad or some kind of 
exposure to these local nonprofit events is a great way to do low cost co-marketing. So as you can see, there's many low cost methods of cross promoting and co-marketing your partnerships that can increase marketplace exposure for both partners, ultimately leading to more leads, more revenue and more profits for everyone involved. So just use your creativity and partner collaborations to come up with some co-marketing ideas that you can get started with today. So that's it for today's co-marketing coffee break. You know, it's really not that difficult to find ways to co-market two businesses. If you'd like to speak with me about any of your ideas or questions, just contact me using the bit.ly link below and I'll be happy to talk with you. I'd also appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button on this video so you won't miss any of my future co-marketing strategies, tactics, and tips. And until then, stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you again soon.